What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at Microsoft Flight Simulator's 40th Anniversary Edition Sim Update 11 and how DLSS 3 works with a 4090. Stick around. Alright, so let's get into it. Today what we're going to do is we're going to take the stock 172 G1000 Cessna. We're going to do a lap in the pattern at the field there, LaGuardia, uh, with the few clouds preset. And we're going to do a lap with DLSS off and DLSS on and see the difference in the frame rates. So my specs are I'm running an i9 12900K, 32 gigs of DDR5, and everything's all running on MVMEs. And obviously we have the RTX 4090. All right, taking a look at our settings here, we're in full screen, 2K resolution with TAA, frame generation is off. We're in DirectX 12. We'll just scroll down here, showing you the rest of the settings. Uh, I'm running off screen terrain pre-caching low because I'm normally in the uh, my home cockpit. Um, however, I can't uh, run the Cap Frame X capture software uh, to see the statistics captured throughout uh, the flight because um, it seems uh, the sim actually crashes anytime the windows are popped out for some reason, uh, which is kind of how uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator does the, uh, the multi-display functionality. All right, we're on the ground here, runway for LaGuardia. We're going to take off, make left traffic. Uh, we'll probably do an early turnout for uh, time. So let's start the capture software. Capture started. And let's, uh, let's see what kind of performance we get without DLSS 3. So overall, it feels pretty smooth. We're in the low 50s, which for me is perfectly fine. Okay, we'll do all our early turnout. Cut our power. Get our first notch of flaps in. And we'll start our turn. Bit of a messed up traffic pattern here, but that's all right. And let's come into land. Lowest frames I think I've seen is about 50. A little fast. And we're down. 
Well, let's stop the capture. Capture finished. All right, so that first test was with DLSS3 uh, disabled. So now DLSS3 is on. We see the in-game frame count is reporting about 60, and we're seeing pretty much double uh, on the external frame counter. So let's start our capture. Capture started. And let's see what the performance is like now with DLSS3 enabled. Speed alive. Okay, we'll start our early turnout again. Our power first notch of flaps let's get our descent going let's see if we can make this a little bit of a better traffic pattern than we previously had. fast this time. Yeah, let's stop the capture. All right, let's recap and take a look at the results. So taking a look at our results with DLSS3 off, we see our average frame rate is 55.3, uh, and our 0.1 percentile is 38.9. Switching over and taking a look at the DLSS3 results, uh, our average is 114.3, with our 0.1 percentile being 69.8, which is a substantial increase. Now, looking over here, we do see that on DLSS3, with it being enabled, we had 0 0.05 seconds of stuttering. With DLSS3 off, we didn't have any stuttering. Now, that could have been for a variety of factors, um, so I'm not really going to say that that's related to DLSS3. I'd, I'd probably have to run several tests back to back to back. Um, and average the results and, and see exactly, you know, what could have caused that. Um, 
But again, 0 0.05 seconds is uh, not really a, a big deal to me. Taking a look here, we see the results side by side. All right, so that's it for this video. Just some closeout thoughts. What do I think of DLSS 3? I'm very impressed. I haven't seen any artifacting or anything like that, and I've seen a noticeable increase in smoothness and just overall performance uh, in the sim. Uh, granted, these are, you know, synthetic frames, if you will. Um, quite honestly, I can't tell the difference, so, I mean, I'm okay with it. Now, I have used this in the home sim with the three 4K displays. Uh, with the LSS3 on, and there is definite uh, a definite performance increase. Unfortunately, I can't quantify that because anytime the sim uh, creates a secondary window, for some reason, uh, Cap Frame X crashes. So I can't actually see what the final output is. Um, if I'm going to go off of these numbers, and it's basically double, I normally am between 30 and 45 uh, in the the triple display setup. So I would probably be 60 or higher, is my guess. Now I was going to run through some of these tests with AMD's FSR2. Um, however, I did notice some obvious flickering and graphical artifacting, so I opted not to do it. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw here, please hit the subscribe button and bell notification for future videos. And if you'd like to see my home sim in action live, you can follow me on twitch.tv forward slash aviatorchris. Be well and fly safe.